Welcome to the first installment of the eAcademy series of instructional videos in which we will present some points related to the operation of our devices. Some of you already know us from previous training presentations, however we are pleased to introduce ourselves to those who are watching us for the first time. My name is Rafał Tomaszewski and I will be co-presenting today's instalment with Maciej Domagowski, who is also the coordinator of the EduSatin project. You will find more information on this project on our website. The eAcademy was created to make installation, programming and maintenance of Satel's devices easier for you. Tricks, tips and peculiarities. We will explain everything step by step and show you how simple some operations can be. How to avoid some mistakes and what to do to speed up specific phases of your work routine. Okay then, let's move on to today's topic. Where do we start, Maciej? The issue we will discuss today is the process of flashing the control panels of the Integra series, which involves replacing the control panel firmware. It is a very important operation for each alarm system. What benefits does it give you? First of all, it optimizes the system. In this way, you will not only be able to use the latest features we provide for the control panels, but also to operate new devices which are included in our product offering. In that case, let's demonstrate what we need to begin flashing. A computer with a Windows operating system. A connection cable with a USB RS converter. Of course, the control panel intended for flashing. And also the keypad connected to it. Additionally, the Flash X program will be required, as well as a file with the firmware appropriate for the control panel update. Both programs can be downloaded free of charge from our website. Now that we have all the necessary hardware, let's make a start. The first step is to check the control panel version you currently have. And how do you do that? The easiest way is by simultaneously holding down the up and down buttons on the keypad for approximately 7 seconds. Information on the control panel version will be displayed on the keypad screen. Then connect the USB connector to the computer and determine the port number on which the converter has been installed. To do so, you should select the My Computer icon on the desktop. Right-click the icon and select Manage. Next, select Computer Management and then Hardware Manager. Open the drop-down list of COM and LPT ports and select the appropriate port number on which our converter has been installed. Connect the other end of the cable to the RJ connector on the control panel board. And proceed to flashing. Exactly. To do so, run the Flash X program. And indicate the location of the firmware file. Then click the program button. Select the COM port number on which the converter is installed and click OK. And that's all as far as programming the computer is concerned. Right now, you need to carry out a few small steps on the control panel side. Exactly. You must initialize the starter. Or in other words, Enter the service mode. Select Starter in the Restarts tab. To confirm its activation, press button 1. At this point, all four LEDs on the keypad should start blinking simultaneously, which indicates activation of the starter. Now the connection is being established in the Flash X program. Checking the starter. Comparing versions, prompting for continuation and acceptance of the start of the flashing process. After flashing is complete, once again check the version of the control panel and make sure that the process has completed successfully. You should do it in exactly the same way as before, that is, 
by simultaneously holding down the up stroke down buttons on the keypad. And that's it. As you can see, the whole process only takes a few minutes. The presented example shows how easily you can update the control panel to extend its functionality. For more information on this topic, follow the link under the video. And that's about all for today's installment. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next videos of the series. See you next time.